Good afternoon, beautiful butterflies. Time to get active. I'm actually out here taking an afternoon brisk walk. And I'm going to see if I can't stay warm while I do it. Mm -mm. I did. Hi. How y'all doing today? Fine. Thanks for this morning. Hey. I'm actually waiting until the afternoon now because the mornings are just positively frigid. And I just wanted to take a walk over here to Mount Clair Junction so I can run into the beauty supply store and see if they have another one of these. This is my favorite unicorn right here, but it's coming apart. So I want to be ready for whatever. So let's see if they have another one. I can't buy one today, but I recently became intensely curious as to whether or not the place that I purchased it still has one. And I thought I'd bring you along. It'd be nice to find a nice sun patch to walk in, but I don't really see one. And of course, that's going to make me walk even faster. So thank you so much for joining me for this walking workout. I had so much fun yesterday planning those wigs. <laughs> hey, I have 140 subscribers, I think. That's a little bit amazing, but I suppose... A lot of you all already know that when you grow a subscriber count, you start getting nasty comments. <laughs> and I don't really I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about that. Initially, I commented back something funny like aha or somebody said please stop. I'm like, "No." And then I went back and I deleted the comments. And I'm like, would it be better if I just left them there and said something funny back? Or if I ignored them? Or if I deleted them? So that's something that I'm going to have to think about as we go. I'll turn the camera around so you can see us approach Mount Clare Junction. Do you see that? Mount Clare Junction. It's really part of a train station. As a matter of fact, one of the oldest train stations in the country. It's where we house the B&O Railroad Museum now. But the left, hand, the right hand side of it is turned into a little shopping center. And over that way is where the train station actually is. Where they have all of the antique trains from the earliest days of the railroad in the, in the United States. I would show you the roundhouse but I have to explore how to really approach it by foot because I know if you drive onto their parking lot, you can see the roundhouse really good. The roundhouse is the actual museum where all the trains are inside of it. It's huge. I know if you go onto their parking lot, you can just walk into it. And I know if you take an aerial view of the city, you absolutely can't miss it. But I don't know how to approach it from this close exactly. So, we're over here. Oh, yeah, I can see the roundhouse from here, but it's kind of got trees between me and it. So, I'll walk over that way a piece. Just to see if I can let you see any of it at all. Yeah, okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll keep talking. Okay. We're actually approaching the roundhouse, and it's a bit obscured by trees, but as we approach, you'll see the top of it. It has that dome top like the Capitol building, and I don't know how close I can get to it. There's parts of it over there. You might even be able to see a preserved car from the mark trains and the mark train is the classic commuter train which takes us from baltimore to washington dc and back like a lot of people that live in baltimore work in dc and i guess 
some people <laughs> that live in DC work in Baltimore. I don't know who though. But uh, hopefully you can see the roundhouse really well as I approach it. And hopefully you can see that Mark train station. And actually it's pretty, pretty sunny over here. And I'm gonna walk down here so you can see possibly some of these old trains that we have. And it really is a very, very interesting and exciting historic landmark here in Baltimore. Because like I said, the B&O Railroad itself is one of the first railroads we had in this country. And of course, B&O stands for Baltimore and Ohio. So they got all these antique trains over here. But when you actually get inside the roundhouse, that's where they had the real, very highly preserved engines and cars. All black lacquered and shiny and polished with docents and curators around to tell you what part of history you're actually looking at. And it's very interesting to note that a few years back, maybe about 10 or 12 years ago, it snowed so hard in Baltimore that the roof of the roundhouse collapsed on top of all of those beautiful trains. And that was really sad and we spent a lot of time mourning that and then making the proper repairs. But yeah, there's the roundhouse. And this is the b &O Railroad Museum. Okay, so I'm up inside of a fenced in enclosure now and I've got to get out of it so that I can make my way to the beauty supply store. So what I'm gonna do to keep this video short and sweet is I'm gonna continue my afternoon walking workout offline. But before I go, I wanna say thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for remaining a subscriber. Please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Well, you already did that. Or if you didn't, come on, subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Share the video. And y'all come on back now, you hear? Peace.